to you. Morning, everybody. So delicious is in full swing. What better way to enjoy Toronto's finest restos than celebrating local ingredients? Chef Martin Capri, good to see you. He, nice of course, to see you, Dina. is the executive chef and owner of Pangea Restaurant. Thank you. I've eaten there many times. You do a beautiful job. And it's always focusing on local cuisine. Summer Licious is on right now until July 20th, which means people can, you know, have a three course meal at a fraction of the cost. That's right. And it's a great representation of what restaurants do. There's over 200 restaurants involved this year, which is fantastic. It just shows you that the program is popular and it keeps growing every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us, it's a, it's a self liquidating promotion because. You know, you're, you're busy when normally you're not, and also you're giving people uh, an opportunity to introduce yourself to them and let them have a taste of the restaurant. So this is an example of what people can dine on. There's usually a, you know, a couple of entree choices, dessert choices of the three. So this is the most beautiful thing. You take so much time with all of your vegetables. You always display them so artistically because you eat with your eyes first. So this is a mix of what sorts of veggies? Well, these are uh, pretty end. So we, we have this little melon baller, and we just very painstakingly take these little uh, uh, divots of, of vegetables out from the from the uh, like with the melon baller, zucchini, zucchini, uh, yellow zucchini, green zucchini, uh, carrots, and then we've got some radishes, some asparagus, some uh, pickled uh, onions. Almost too pretty to eat, but it's delicious that you end up licking the plate. And then, what are you serving on top? Well, we've got some lamb. We're doing lamb three ways. We're doing lamb sweetbreads, lamb. Uh, what is a sweetbread? Because I used to think it was an actual sweet bread. Oh, it is not. <laughs> it is not. No, it's the, the name is deceiving. But the, it's it's the thymus gland. You know that's why we call it sweetbread. Because we say the thymus gland. It's, it's an organ. It's something that controls your growth. Okay. And it's usually available only in, in in younger animals because as you grow older, you don't need it, so it disappears. Does it taste like fish? <laughs> Chicken? No, it, it tastes like lamb. Okay. And if you close your eyes, you'll be, you swear you taste lamb. So, you know. Okay, so that's the thing. You could try things you wouldn't normally eat. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so we've got some. Uh, I'm at the mercy of these. Uh, is it of these true stoves. that uh, is, you, can, uh, you can answer this, I hope, mm -hmm. that Drake used to either come to your restaurant a lot, or was it that he used to perform at your restaurant? That's a going rumor about Pangea. Um, can you verify this, Chef? I can verify that uh, that Prince was a uh, patron of the restaurant. Oh, yeah. and? Yeah, he's fantastic. He's, yeah? he's very nice, down to earth. Good tipper? I don't know about tipper. <laughs> I, I can't divulge that information. Okay, okay, that's but fair. But you know what? If, if, you, if you come often and come frequently, then uh, that's good enough for me. All right, fair yeah. enough. So how are we preparing all of the lamb here? Well, we, we're sauteing the sweetbreads and the kidneys. We've got the uh, lamb loin in there. And I'm uh, just heating it up quickly. And, and at Pangea, there is something uh, for everybody because you do celebrate tastes and foods and flavors of the world. Yeah, but, yeah. but we get our inspiration internationally, but we take our ingredients from the local. Okay. Yeah. And then this is a little dessert that you'll be serving, one of the options again during Summerlicious. Yeah, so while this is heating up, we're yeah. going to make this dessert together. Sure, let And I'm going to show you how to make a canal of whipped cream because I saw you and Rob Rainford together. And that was, was a, a hot mess. mess. That was, was mess. a hot mess. You yeah. Know? So There's what we've got is we've got some uh, hot milk cakes, which is like a shortbread. I'm just going to cut it. Just going to cut it into. And you have a uh, local third? pastry maker that does the most beautiful work. Oh, Colin Quinn. Yeah, she's, mm -hmm. she's she's a dear and she's a friend. She's really talented. And she does a great job. So this is a strawberry. Would you call it a coulis, or is it just a, a coulis, strawberry sauce? But, but we make it a little clear, so we we sometimes call it a consomme as well. Okay. So just squeeze some of the uh, oh. some of this around the outside. Yeah, I'm around gonna, I'm gonna the trust, outside. I'm going to trust you with that. The outside of the cake, yes. Just, just on the, oh, uh, I already messed it up, chef. <laughs> come on now, you're setting me up. I'm going to create a sunshine because it's raining outside. Do do do. I, I knew this sun. was going to happen. <laughs> what do you mean? You're not going to hire me, chef? <laughs> Give me that. It looks like a two-year-old right. decorated your dessert plate. Berries in the middle, please. All right. So here we have some blueberries. Some raspberries. Tis the season for all yeah. things berries. Blackberries. Yes? Yum. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> You're doing all right. Well, let's start all over again. You know what? More berries, the better. Now good. what, chef? Keep going. All right. No, that's good. Right that's now. Good. Now we're gonna top that Isn't off. Isn't this a thing of beauty? Actually, we're gonna put a little dollop of cream on there first. Oh, of course we are. We're just gonna do one of these. And now I'm gonna show you how to do a canal after this. Now, a canal. If you, if you, yep. Okay. This sounds complicated, chef. Oh, look at this. Yes, everybody. Does that not look stunning? They'll do a much better job when you go visit, <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> now, a canal is where you take some hot water. 
Yeah. Let's see if we have some hot water. Well, oh, that's why you had that kettle going. Yes. I thought somebody was having a facial back here. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you have that beautiful skin. It didn't, oh, shut, it didn't way, shut off by itself, did it? It just kept on going. <laughs> Chef Martin has this book out. He's not. You're, you're willing to share all your secrets. Well, you your know, chef secrets. I, I learned because somebody taught me, and I have to just pass that on. Yeah. So it's called Pangea, Why It Tastes So Good. And inside, we know your wife very well here on BT. Shout out to Dana. Dana was our food trend um, product specialist, Dana mm -hmm. McCauley. Oops, there she is. So how did you decide on this photo for your wife? Honey, well, put a strainer on your head. Well, we're, we're, we're standing in the field of uh, Cookstown, and uh, we had the strainer. And yeah. I wanted to take a shot with her uh, because, you know, she looks so pretty, of course. You are in it, in the reflection, <laughs> as it were. So it sort of is a romantic shot of you without you actually being together. Well done, Chef. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So where can we get this book? Well, you can get that at all, all your uh, favorite uh, bookstores. Okay. And, uh, or you can get it online, of course. So there you go. That's the finished product. You want it a little bit red inside? Yes? Well, not quite so red, but, okay. you know, time is the issue here. So. For the sake of TV. So it'll take yeah. usually how many minutes, would you say? Well, it usually takes about 10 minutes. Swing's angry at you, Chef. Uh, okay, it doesn't like that very much. So make sure you partake in all things Summerlicious, breakfasttelevision.ca to find out more. The best way to enjoy the best that our city has to offer without actually burning a hole in your wallet. So go say hi to the chef. Enjoy the desserts and all the eats. And bon appetit. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you. And right now we're going to throw things over to Jennifer Valentine, who's also enjoying some good cuisine this morning.